from Tortoise Capital. This is Ken Long from Tortoise Capital on uh, June 27, 2013 with the review of the daily trading plan. Uh, market is bullish volatile on an annual basis at 60 out of 100 with weekly RSI 14, so uh, middle range of neutral. On a 10-day basis using 10-day NDX, 57 out of 100 neutral. Percent stretch relative to the 200-day moving averages. Yellow bullish at 7.15%. Uh, 50-day moving average slope improved slightly to 0.21. Uh, but it's still red bullish. ADX declined to 21.9. Uh, no trend, uh, but bears slightly in charge, but weakening. As we can see down here, uh, it has rolled over. Uh, bulls got a little stronger today. Bears got a little weaker. You can see the volatility is at a 100-day high. Uh, two standard deviations above the 100-day normal. Uh, no signals in overreaction or channeling. You can see that we are over... Uh, we were overbought, no, I'm sorry, oversold, and now we're right at the mid range over the last 10 days using 10 day NDX. The risk index is still risk off, but the volatility is starting to roll over a little bit. You can see the uh, 30 period VIX moving average divided by the 10 period. And this comes in at a Z score of about 1.3 uh, right now. Still risk off. Uh, no patterns to trade uh, for setups, although we do have quite a few uh, in the auto framer that test out better than two to one. The 10 day winners in the Dow have been United Health, McDonald's, American Express, Johnson & Johnson, Walmart. The losers have been uh, Intel, Pfizer, Alcoa, IBM, and Travelers. Looking at the Dow 30 tactical, uh, five dojis, no RSI twos. Um, IBM tests out at 5.3 to 1, Travelers at 5.7 to 1 on the auto framer. Uh, Intel tests out at almost 3 to 1 and has a 3.0 on the uh, frog quality number. Uh, today's winners in, highlighted in green Bank of America, Hewlett Packard, Boeing, United Health and American Express, the losers, Coca Cola, uh, DuPont, Johnson and Johnson. No patterns in the ETFs. Uh, most of them test out better than two to one on the auto framer. Uh, silver is number one on the max pain range compression. Tests out at 5.6 to one. Has an RSI2 value of four. Gold tests out at 6.1 to one and has an RSI value of two. And was a big percent loser today, as was the VIX. Handful of dojis. Plenty to choose from here on the uh, auto framer. XIV was a big winner today at 3.9% uh, and still tests out at 3.7 to 1. Uh, looking at the auto framer, some details um, in here. And uh, you see sorted by the reward to risk ratio. Uh, most of the risks are in that middle range of the, uh, of the range risk, which is between a quarter and one full ATR percentage plus a 10% buffer. Um, the Euro Asia blend, gold, travelers, silver. We'll take a look at those in a minute. Slope of the regression line is starting to stabilize here at two standard deviations below the six month average. You can see in the time series just how quickly the market rolled over and failed. You can see here with price relative to the 200 day move an average. Uh, again, a three, Three standard deviation adverse move and then a one standard deviation bounce to enter the river. The last three days have brought uh, brought price back in line with the uh, regression line, like I said, and the decline in that is starting to uh, fade. Um, just some reference data. Price has re-entered the river. Once more, uh, the ten period moving uh, this or the ten period regression line slope has come back to minus one z score. The thirty has started to roll over. Um, the ninety is still very strong, uh, so the longer term uh, bull is still strong, and this looks like now the potential for a buy on dip opportunity in here.
And that's everything I want to cover for the daily. Uh, quite a few things to choose from on the, uh, the buy on dip opportunities. Um, I like the long saga, but I am prepared to go in both directions. Um, I want to shift now to take a look at uh, some of those uh, real quickly in here. Okay, so we're taking a look at silver here. That tested out um, nicely on the RSI 2 value. Uh, you can see it's well below the 200-day moving average. The river is sloping sharply downward. It's had a huge, horrible sell-off. It's had uh, six days out of even the floodplain, uh, but today failed to fail further. Um, and so uh, I think I'd be willing to play above 1850. Uh, on an entry here with the target of re-entering the river. We're back to the Bollinger Band mean. Uh, that looks like a, a reasonable approach to me. Now we'll take a look at uh, Travelers next. That also tested out well on the auto framer. Uh, a little easier to see right here. Uh, three days of resumption of the strength. Um, regression line slope has rolled back over, starting to improve. Price getting ready to re-enter the river, so if you have a stop uh, at the edge of the floodplain, you have a 2 to 1 uh, to the far side of the river, a 1 to 1 a reversion to the main. So that looks like a, a reasonable play. Take a look at the pain that was gold. Not unlike the silver, but even uh, but much worse. Whereas silver held support today, uh, gold crashed right through it, and we're uh, six days outside of the floodplain in a row. Um, let's take a look at uh, the EFA blend here, the EuroAsia blend. Oops, sorry. And that, that's a nice bounce off the 200-day moving average. Uh, price is uh, getting ready to re-enter the river. Uh, a retest of the 10-day high gives you a nice favorable reward to risk if you're using range risk here. Uh, so that uh, that's going to do well if uh, we see strength in uh, S&P as well. Uh, looks like an opportunity to me. And that's uh, just some quick frames for the trade for tomorrow. Ken Long at Tortoise Capital, keep your wrist measured and your powder dry.